hi guys uh, in this session let's discuss about um, what is database and what is data warehouse and the difference between database and data warehouse first let's see what is database so we can call anything as a database which holds the data so wherever we store the data we will call it as database for example notepad excel word anything so if i have some data then i can call that as database okay so now let's discuss about data what is data and what kind of data we're going to store in the database so the technical definition for the data is a data is a related fact which has future reference value so data is a valid fact which has future reference value then only we're going to store that in the database otherwise we are not going to store it so let's say for example uh, i have to travel from my place to tirupati now how can i go there somebody told me when i inquired them they said that uh, just take xyz bus from the bus station bus stand which will go to tirupati so that's what the information I got from them. So the same information is given to you, then you'll store that data. You'll store that one as data. So only when you want to refer it next time. Otherwise, you won't. Let's say if I'm walking on a road I'm, and I'm seeing so many cars and so many number plates on that. Am I remembering all those? Definitely not because I don't need to remember those because I'm never going to refer it back But XYZ bus at 11 p.m. from bus stand. I may go to Tirupati in future So that's why I'm storing the data So that means is it must be related to me and it must be a fact and it has the future reference value Then only I'm going to store that in the database So that is data Okay, and there are different forms of databases are there. So based on how you are storing the data So the most important form of databases available is RDBMS Relational database management systems. So in which you will maintain the data in the form of tables Now RDBMS has become so popular and almost all database servers are following the same way for storing the data so they are storing the data in two dimensional format. So that is in form of rows and columns. And the data warehouse. So what is mean by data warehouse? So that data warehouse is also a database. So there is no difference. So we'll call the same. So whenever you create a database, we can use that one as a data warehouse. So why, why we are calling that one as a data warehouse? So why we are calling that one as database? So what is the difference between database and data warehouse? So in database, we're going to store the current information or current records or live, live records. And in data warehouse, we're going to store the historical data, historical information or age data. So now let's see one example. So why we are storing the data in different places, I mean, live data in one place and historical data in one another database. Why we are storing that information in different databases? We'll, we'll see that part with an example. Let's say um, I'm the CEO, I'm the owner of uh, ICICI Bank. Okay, I'm the CEO or the owner of uh, ICICI Bank and I'll be storing the data or transactions in this database so what is the transaction here let's say I'm running a supermarket and if any customer comes to store and buys a soap that's a transaction to me if any customer buys a chocolate that's a transaction to me so the transaction is nothing but which will store all the transactional information or um, all the sales information so the transaction is nothing but it directly says how the business is going on and if you take the bank, let's say the customer A deposited few amount, customer B credited with some amount, customer C transferred some amount to some another guy. So in the same way, all those transactions, they are capturing into these databases, in these database. So how many transactions made by a customer in one month or in last month that says how the bank business is going and how the customer transactions are going on. So every transaction they are capturing here. What happens if you don't capture this? 
suppose if you call your bank customer the customer care of the bank that you are having the account and you ask okay what are the transactions i made in last month and if they say sorry i don't we don't have that information with me so then what will be your response obviously we'll shout at them right why because it's their job to maintain all the records so here all you know this icsa bank is having billions of customers right let's say here icsa bank is having only 1 lakh customers i'm just taking the taking the minimum count here and each customer is doing two transactions per day then how many records they going to store here in this database 1 lakh records multiplies by two transactions per day so 2 lakh record 2 lakh records we going to store in the database on a regular basis so every day we need to store two transactions then what about for a week what about the count so that is 14 lakhs right and what about month it's something around 60 lakhs and what about year it's 7.2 crores so how they going to store this how they going to make use of this data so now here they'll store only the current data and they'll move all the remaining to another database another database let's say for example go to any bank in india and try to get the last one year transactions of your account uh will i get, will you get it so you want you can get for last 3 months bank statement after that if you want for more then you have to raise a request and bank statement will be mailed to you through email so this is how it happens in the banking sites in the banks so why they don't store all the data here in this database let's say i have an application which inserts updates and deletes the data and this application is running on this database which will maintain all the transactions so if the transactional database continuously growing and it become like terabyte or 2 terabyte in size right and if i see the transaction data it is going like billions and billions for every insert update and modify i have to query this database and the performance will be very big hit here so what people will do is they'll set some interval like um, okay let's keep only last one one month information and push the remaining information into another database so we'll call that one as data warehouse so we'll call that one as data warehouse they move data either our after one month or two months or three months it just depends on how much data is flowing into the database per day or per month so here data warehouse is also a database which we don't touch it frequently and this application will talk only with this database and the reports part will talk with data warehouse why because to see how the history was what was the data how many transactions happened in last one year or last two years or last five years so we need to connect with the data warehouse we need to get the information from the data warehouse so why we are moving the data from this um, database to one other database data warehouse just to keep this application performance in good shape we are moving the data we are, we are moving the data from this database to another database so this is a database where the transactions will be happening and this is called data warehouse where all the historical data or old data will be moved to now data database will be easy to query now so there will be hardly uh, 50 lakh records or 60 lakh records or one crore records in this database and it will be easy for them to query the data if you maintain all the data in the same database the performance of the application will be very poor for example um if you try to deposit some amount in the bank so what bank will do what bank i will do first they'll check your account status 
so to check the account status if you query the data where you have all the information all the data in one place if it is taking lot of time like 30 minutes or 40 minutes time imagine one deposit is taking 30 minutes time is it possible scenario in like a country in India so what they'll do is frequently very frequently they'll move all their historical data into another database and will call the database as data warehouse and of course this job will be done by using SSIS SQL Server integration services will call that one as a ETL ETL tool which is used to move the data from one place to another place one database to one database so using this SSIS you can move the data from one single database to one single destination otherwise multiple sources to one single destination you can move it so why we are moving this one why we are moving the data from this database to this database just to keep the application performance in good shape so this is data warehouse so in this database in the data warehouse just we are maintaining the historical records historical data or old data or we can call it as age data and in this database we are storing only current records or live records just based on the flow of data how much data is sitting into your database how much data is coming into the database per day based on the flow we are moving the data from one um, this database to another database just to keep the application performance in good shape so if your database performance is good then obviously the performance of your application will be good right so to keep the performance of this application i'm moving the data from this database to one another database i'll call that one as data warehouse so what happens if i don't store the data in the data warehouse let's say in this database just to keep the application performance in good shape i'm i'll maintain only last one month sales otherwise last three months information last three months data in this database and if i delete the previous data what happens you won't get the um, analysis part right you can't check the trend like um, what is the difference between last month sales to current month sales what is the difference between last three month sales to current three month sales I mean last quarter to this quarter last time to this same last year to this year you can't check this you can't analyze this kind of uh, scenarios let's say I started my business in 2010 year from 2010 year if I don't store the data in my database if I have only three months information last three months information what about how can I check how can I say that in, in the first year of my business I mean when, when, my, when I started my business in first year in the first year this is my sales and in the second year this is my sales how can I give that information and every year my business is growing like this every year my business is improving 10% um, 10 percent share how can I give that information how can I show the trend when I don't have the data with me so we never delete the data we may use the data in future for analysis purpose so what we'll do is we'll try to store the data in one another database so we'll call the database as data warehouse so warehouse is nothing but it's like a godown it's like a storeroom in your house so what will store in the storeroom so we'll store unused items in the storeroom right so why we are not throwing the items out instead of um sorry why we are storing that items in the storeroom why we are not throwing out why because we may use it in future we may use that items in the future that's why we are storing that items in the storeroom so if, if I think that okay I, I won't use these items in future also then I'll delete it I mean uh, then I'll throw it out but we may use it in the future that's why we are storing that unused items in the storeroom in the same way in data warehouse we'll store the data why because we may use the data in future for analysis purpose we'll use the data in future so we'll use the data that's why we are storing the data in data warehouse so we'll call this database as OLTP database online transactional processing and we'll call this data warehouse as OLAP online analytical processing so online transactional processing on regular basis 
you can you are you are processing the data your regular updates deletes modifications are you are doing some modifications on this database on regular basis whereas in this olap always you will run only select statement will use this data warehouse just to query the information just to analyze the data so this data warehouse reads the historical data for the users for business decisions and in this OLTP database will use whenever you are modifying the data on regular basis so on regular basis you are inserting the data you are modifying the data that is nothing but your OLTP so whenever you use the data whenever you are using the data for analysis purpose so that is nothing but OLTP so most of the cases in data warehouse always will load the data into data warehouse so in very few cases we'll go with select statement so I um, mean not few cases I'm sorry uh, very few cases will go with the loading part but in data warehouse always will run the select statement why because whenever you want to check the trends that trend information is available that previous business historical data previous business data is available in your data warehouse only but in the live data in the current databases you have only limited data limited data and every day the new data is coming so regular updates regular modifications you are doing in this OLTP database okay and in this database whenever you are creating the these kind of databases using normalization concept will design this database so using normalization concept will try to improve the performance why because on a regular basis you are inserting the data you are updating the data you are deleting the data so relational modeling techniques are used for this rdbms database design and for this data warehousing model, modeling techniques which are used for um, data warehousing that is denormalization so in denormalized way we'll store the data in data warehouse so these databases are optimized for writing operations and these data warehouses are optimized for reading operations and if you try to analyze the data using database the performance is very low so the performance is low for analysis queries analysis purpose and this data warehouse is good for analysis so the high performance for analytical queries okay so that is the difference between database and data warehouse both are databases but in database will store the current records or live records and in data warehouse will store the historical data or old data or edge data clear so that's about um, database and data warehouse <coughs> so that's it for mine uh, if you have any questions you can ask me